Show me a pursuit sound from one uh, room 48. Oh, suspect just came in. Alabama State Troopers out of the game. Right Attention all units, kill a large scale fight at the LTD gas station. Attention all units. Stop the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, third floor. MPSO, come out with your hands up. Oh, what are you guys doing? Taser, taser, taser. Is it a point? I got it. I've never been to one of the fucking guards in South Bombay, 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 Freeze, please! Mobile and police trying to stop. Sir, if you don't stop, you will be taken. They're filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Sergeant John McDonald, Dad, and I'm a law enforcement agent. She's commercial VIP enforcement team. Pretty much what we're going to be doing this evening is just checking for any illegal driving commercial vehicles, tractor trailers, any form of a vehicle that can transport things from one place to another. And usually truckers try to divert our weight scales on I-5 and I-15 here at the dam. It's it's sad to say uh, it's a very dangerous thing what they're doing, but that's what we're here for to stop it. We've got a truck up here already. I'm going to try to make contact with the vehicle. How you doing, sir? You going to step out the truck for me? Hey, you doing, Sergeant John? Commercial vehicle enforcement. I'm um, quite sure you know why I'm speaking to you already, huh? Probably because of how beautiful my rig is. <laughs> oh no, you got a nice looking rig. Guess what? You tried to divert the weight scales, and I know you did. Uh, because I can tell you were pretty confused. There's no. Uh, commercial traffic supposed to come through here. So no more, that's a illegal thing you're doing. Per state ordinance. Got your uh, CDL on you? And do you run paper logs or e-logs? I run e-logs. E-logs, okay. Are you an on operator or you work for a company? I'm not supposed to tell people that. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. I can tell you doing some illegal stuff for him. All right, sir, can you want to come up here with uh, Trooper Eric just for a second? All right, I'm going to go search his uh, vehicle, get the e-log. Absolutely. Don't mess anything up. Sir, your, your quail calm is not functioning properly, so that's a violation automatically. So I am I have the right, it's reasonable suspicion that you are driving illegal. You have went over your hours of service, which is 11 hours, sir. You got any reason for the uh, uncooperative call um, equipment, sir? I mean, it's a shame that you're doing this. You're not telling me if you're an owner-operator or company driver, which I have the suspicion that you're doing some I'm illegal activity. I'm a company activity. driver. Well, you should have told me that in the first place. If you're a company driver, all your equipment be properly functioning. So right now I have to place you out of service until we get this situation under control. I'll be speaking with your company. If you are a company driver, um, we'll get that fixed out and sorted out. But based upon our regulations, Department of Transportation regulations, I have to place you out of service at this moment. You understand? I understand. I mean, the way scale that's around the band, going to park there, going to sleep your eight hours, Plus an additional whatever time until we get in contact with the Qualcomm services and your company services. So we can get this sorted out so you won't have an accident because you're, you know, driving over your drive time. So what I want to do I work you get back in your vehicle. Bell. That's fine, you work for Cluck and Bell, but I'm gonna have to actually get in the vehicle. You're gonna follow this trooper right here to the uh, weight scale. 
more instruction, further instruction will be issued to you once you make it there, okay? So just wait till this trooper get into his vehicle, to the weight scale. All right, Eric, you going uh, escort in there? Will do. So right now, pretty much what we're doing is what we call the uh, a courtesy escort, just to make sure he gets there in a safe function, make sure he does make it there. Yeah, right, we're not the. Uh, Weight scale, pretty much he's going to be going out of service here. We have a fleet of commercial vehicle enforcement agents already on scene here. They're going to be monitoring him uh, nightly so he won't take off on us. Are right, we going to go ahead and make a contact with one of our weight scale managers? What's going on, John? Ah, not much fun. How you doing? I'm good. Well, he's going to be placed out of service. His Quillcom, which is the e-log system, it's not even functioning. It won't even cut on. So oh. we don't know if he's been, how long he's been driving. He's been driving pretty recklessly. So we had a suspicion that he's illegally driving over the 11 hour drive time. So we're going to be placing him out of service. Uh, for his safety and public safety as well, DOT regulations. I'm um, already contacted the Department of Transportation uh, equipment supervisor. They're going to be out here in the morning once it's eight hour um, is up. They're going to try to get that quail uh -huh. comp system working. Okay then. Yeah. So yeah, we can just have him pull into the parking lot and and uh, he cut it off there. Shut it off. Shut it down there. Yeah. Just receive his uh, keys from him. Make okay, sure his then. APU and stuff cuts on first, but after they receive his keys, we don't want them taking off. All right. All right, thank you. Yeah, All so right. let's just back up our cars and we can uh, have them pull back into the parking lot. Yep. Yeah. My name is Deputy John. I've been working with the Mobile County Sheriff's Department coming up on seven months now transferred from Minnesota State Police. Been really liking the weather so far down here. And glad I made the change. Looks like we just got a call for a disorderly intoxicated male. It'll be 880 West Joshua Road. Right now we got multiple officers there already. Uh, this guy is known to be one of the people that are known to be uncooperative, so we're gonna get there and assist much as we can. Three twelve, ten twenty three. Three oh eight, ten twenty three. I beg to differ. I have it on my camera. You have nothing in your camera, man. Stop pointing th those guns at me. Get out of here. Oh. oh. Ow. Hold on. Ugh. Turn around and put your hands behind your head. What do you want? 
I haven't done anything. Turn around and put your hands on top of your head. I'll turn around and walk away. That's what I'm gonna do. I will not ask you again. Stop following me. Turn around. Y'all be and careful put your hands because he's been head. drinking all night. Y'all be careful over there. He's been drinking all night. Thank you, ma'am. My ass tickles a little bit. Hold on. Ugh. Turn around and put your hand on top of your head. Oh, oh, I think I passed out for a second. Get out of here. What are you doing? Turn Get around and put your hands on, put your hands on top of your head. Uh, man, do anything wrong. Get out of here. Get away. Throw a ball at you. Get away. Get away right now, man. Taser. Relay. Taser deployed. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. god. Oh, oh, man, my muscles. Oh, my god. Oh, ow. Jeremy, you seeing this? Right there? Yeah. He deserves oh, it. He's man. been drinking all night. He needs to stop drinking. I haven't done anything wrong. I've done the vomit. Oh. Alright, right now we are detaining you for our safety and your safety. Oh, that's BS, bro. Ugh. Can you can you scratch my ass? Tickles a little bit. No. Why not, bro? Ugh. Ugh. Can I at least get my, my, my pants back? Ugh. Well, why don't you have any pants on? I, I don't know, man. I, I don't remember anything. Ugh. Ugh. What's your name? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh. You know how much you had to drink tonight? Alfred Jenkins. What's that? What? Alfred Jenkins. Why do How you much did you have to drink? Name? What? How much did you have to drink tonight? Uh, about one beer. Only one. You sure about that? Uh, maybe maybe two, maybe maybe three. I don't know, okay. man. Uh, uh. Oh. Okay, hey, sir, come on. Uh, uh, thank you. Here, let me just let Find anything because you don't have it. Put anything. So. All right. Sit right here. Have a seat. Come on over here. Let's go. I'm holding you. Come on. Oh. I can feel my legs. Come on. did you have to electrocute me? I wasn't doing anything wrong. 
때. 그게 what you get, you drunk punk. Oh, shut up. I'll get you back. All right, him. I'm so. Jeremy, I am so happy that that he is going to jail tonight. Ain't talking mess. So, are you sure you only had one beer? I don't think so. I already told you. I I don't remember. All right. Okay. Let me out of these cuffs. Uh, okay, this guy uh, breath lies, so if you want to grab your PBT, I'll kind of move my car over here so we can get a little bit more light. I was told his name is Alfred Jenkins. I am. Um, in his name, he has uh, okay. a warrant for his arrest. So. All right, I'm gonna go grab my PBT then. See what I can grab off. Your All pigs right. can do anything to me. Alright, sir. I'll be back. That's enough. Nope. That's not enough. I'll be back. <sighs> Get me out of these cuffs. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Jeremy, get over there and get your cell phone and record this because this is this is gonna be some funny stuff, honey. Oh yeah, it will be. Alright, I'm gonna pop my trunk uh Ross and grab my PBT. Okay. Hey, keep him put. Don't let him go anywhere. You don't get guys. too close there now, Jeremy. Don't get too close. I'm not. I'm not trying to be. Uh, I'm just gentlemen. like some massive. No, oh man. Uh, Ron, oh man, let let me go. Oh man. Hold on, I'll give you five bucks Sir, right stop now. Stop resisting. I'll give you five bucks right now. I have them right, shoved, shoved up in my ass. It's all yours, oh, okay. Captain. Buddy, I'm gonna administer you a field sobriety test, and what that means, I need you to blow into this tube and keep blowing until I stop, okay? Yeah, yeah, yada yada. Go ahead. Right, go ahead. Uh, keep blowing. Alright. Okay, you can stop. Oh, me. I'm out of here. Ooh. I'm a breath. Just wait for uh. it. So. Hope my ass. Like, real. Let's go real now. I'll give you I'm both five bucks right now. Twice legal <laughs> I'm still legal. Alfred. Let me go. Mr. Jenkins. Hey. Give me five bucks, man. <laughs> Oh, 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 Alfred. Oh, 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 oh man. Watching. Police brutality. <coughs> My back hurts. Ow. You'll be fine. <clears throat> Alfred Jenkins, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these facts? I want, want my lawyer right now. Oh, right yeah. now. No, I want my lawyer. You can call him when we get to the station. Call Alfredo. He's my cousin. Oh. N <sighs> call him. Uh -huh. you See you later. Sober, uh, I'll be getting yourself in trouble. Basically, when I pulled up onto the scene, what ended up me seeing is uh, them having ready to deploy a taser as the intoxicated male was resisting arrest. So I pulled up on scene, um, got on my vehicle to help. Uh, I witnessed the suspect continue to resist arrest, so the taser did have to be deployed after that point.
point, we did get him in handcuffs and into custody. After that, we went to go question the, ask questions to the family at the house over there. Uh, he's going to be going to jail tonight for uh, being disorderly, resisting arrest, and also being double the legal limit when we took the breathalyzer.